Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. We're going to show you how we got solar installed on our house next on Now You Know. So maybe you're watching because you've been thinking about getting a solar panel system for your home, but you're not sure what it involves or where to start. Well, that's where I was back in March of 2013. I started by emailing Solar City, a solar company that I had seen putting in systems around town, and I asked if my house would be a good candidate for solar. I got a friendly email back within a day showing a Google map image of my house with red circles drawn around clusters of trees that surrounded my house, explaining that these trees caused too much shade to make a system feasible. I really wanted to go solar, and as much as I love trees, these trees were huge and old and they were really too close to my house. So I called an arborist and we walked around the house and identified which trees had to go. Nine pines and a giant oak had to come down, so we hired a tree company with a big crane and down they came. After the trees came down, I set up a Solar City online account and filled out their questionnaire, including questions about my energy use and current electricity supplier. Solar City then sent out a solar specialist who climbed all over my house's roofs and measured sun angles and roof angles and took measurements. A couple of weeks later, I logged into my Solar City online account and checked out Solar City's proposal, including full plans of the system. I signed up for a 20-year lease, or PPA and I locked into an electricity rate that was lower than what National Grid was offering. What this means is that I do not own the solar panels or inverters, and I pay Solar City for the power produced. So I didn't have to pay anything up front, and I got to lock into an electricity rate for 20 years that will not go up. My system was installed on my roof in two days, and then another day for the electricians to hook it up to the panels. Now this was back in 2013 and the tax incentives are constantly changing, so depending on where you live and which companies do solar in your area, there will be different deals available to you. Should you buy your system or lease? My best advice is to call some solar companies in your area and check out their proposals. Ask neighbors that have recently installed solar. But this is what I've experienced so far. After two and a half years, we love our 9 kilowatt solar system. We have produced over 17 megawatt hours of electricity. That's enough energy to drive our Tesla Model X 48,521 miles, or from Boston to LA and back eight times. Clean energy that we used or pumped back onto the power grid for others to use. In just two and a half years, we have saved 12.2 tons of CO2 from being put into the atmosphere. That's the equivalent of not driving an internal combustion engine car 29,000 miles or saving over 6,000 gallons of water. We've saved over $500 so far, and that's just after two and a half years. What I love is that I can open my Solar City app and see how much electricity my system is making right now, or yesterday, or three months ago. Hour by hour, month by month, so cool. But what if your roof just isn't suitable for solar? Maybe you live in an apartment, or a condo, or in a bunker. Well, you can still get clean solar energy by signing up for a community solar garden. My rooftop solar system provides about half of my household's electricity needs. The rest comes from a community solar park where I have leased 45 solar panels. So now, 100% of our electricity comes from the sun. And when I drive my electric car, I feel good knowing that I'm driving a solar-powered vehicle no emissions to make the electricity that powers a car that makes no emissions. Clean energy. And let me leave you with this. We could eliminate all fossil fuels from our energy grid in America by harnessing the power of the sun. And the total surface area we would need is this little blue square. And we can utilize rooftops, which is essentially wasted space anyway. Wouldn't this be a great gift to your kids and grandchildren? Save money. Save the planet. Now you know. We'll leave some useful links down below in the description. Please let us know in your comments if there's anything you'd like to see in future episodes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, it means a lot to Jesse and I if you would subscribe. It lets us know that people are watching and that we can continue to make these high quality videos for you. So please let us know by subscribing today.